So the third quarter is about to begin here at Liberty High School in Peoria, Arizona. Ken Tomash and A.J. Sturman with you. A.J., hard to believe, but with four minutes to go in the first half, this was a 21-6 game before those two huge runs by Liberty really got them out to that huge lead at halftime now. Now they're really in the driver's seat. Yeah, it looked promising for Buckeye. That first touchdown run that made it 28-6 was big, but the biggest part of it was the fake punt that ends up backfiring for Buckeye. Gives Liberty one last play. You'd think maybe they'll just chuck it to the end zone. Instead, they go with a run and break off a 47-yard touchdown to end the half. And now this game looks like it's maybe out of reach for Buckeye. Andre Gaddy turned it upfield and went uh, 51 yards for the touchdown that made it 28-6. to And then, as A.J. mentioned, the fake punt gave the ball back to Liberty with just seconds to play. And on the very last play of the half, Ryan Benedict ran 47 yards for the touchdown. It's 35-6 to now at the half. But A.J. Buckeye does get the ball to start the third quarter. How critical is this first drive of the third? Well, this first drive is huge. They're going to need to put something on the board if they're going to make this a game once again. And it'll be interesting to see just how this team responds, what their mental state is right now, because it was such a bad way to end the first half. If they're able to come out and put something together, they're still in this game. But you know what? It'll just be interesting how big of an effect that last touchdown run had on their mindset coming into the second half, because down 29 right now, things don't look good. And Liberty really has kept Buckeye in this game through a, a host of penalties, some yeah. sloppy penalties, a couple personal fouls that extended drives, jumping offside, procedure calls. It has not been the kind of crisp first half that Dan Philemon wanted to see. No, certainly not. The scoreboard is, you know, obviously very positive for them at the moment. Liberty's playing, you know, pretty good football when you just look at the scoreboard, but you're right. There have been a lot of penalties, a lot of mistakes, and it's something they're going to have to clean up considering they only have this second half of football and then one more game next week before the postseason gets going. This is the time of year when you want to be playing your best football, and Dan Philemon wants to see that in the second half. They lead it 35-6 to to start the third quarter.